Yeah, my name is Auckland. is a beautiful place, boy. Josie, when was the last time you've been in Auckland? Uh, I've been in Lovely Bay. I should say Lovely Bay, Auckland. My hometown. I've been in uh, there, I'd say, say, but 94. 1994? Okay, so I've been, I've been in Auckland later than you. I, I went to Auckland, Pineville, Auckland in 2010. So that means you have to get back home. Yeah, you have to get back home. Josie, on different shows, as I communicated to the Bohemian people, as I frequent the, the nation's talk show circuit, as and labeled at the beginning one of their chronic callers, and then secondly labeled by one of the hosts of one of the shows as not a chronic caller but a committed caller. And so some of us went from chronic calling to talk shows to being labeled as committed callers of talk shows. And on numerous of shows, I would have said that in respect to Auckland and talking about the different islands in the Bahamas and how each island is unique. Unfortunately for me, I'm not able to speak to most islands like other natives from born of those islands can speak to those issues and certain cultural facts about that, that, that island. However, I'm able to speak about the earlier days of my life in Pineville, Acklands, growing up in Pineville, Acklands. 1973, I was sent there. I was three years old. In 1973, how old were you? I was born in 63, man. In 63, so he... So, you know, I beat, so I beat you, plenty so corn I, and, and so grind plenty corn. So, you, 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 to beat corn, to beat corn is what we call to shuck it to shuck it and then shell it. And um, the dry corn, in this case, you have to beat it because it was so much that you would have either in a croaker sack, some type of... You have to beat it to get the husk off it. To get the, the husk. Heat. Yeah, to get the husk off the corn. Of the corn. Before you grind, you have to prepare, prepare this corn. Right, because the husk is dry now, and you're separating then the dry corn from the husk, from the, from the husk of the corn. Okay. Yeah. And, um, Taking away the, the hustle off the corn when you beat it. So when you after you beat it, you have to clean the corn, right. then grind the corn, and in then the grind the corn to make grits. Okay. See. Okay. So where did you where did y'all get the corn from? Well, our parents farm. We call farm. it. We go in the field. That's what we call it. Okay. And and in I like field. how you correct that because even on these shows, I would I would even correct myself and say uh, uh, um, and say to the listeners that today we call them farming back then they call it going in the field today we call it fishing uh they we going uh sport fishing these people call it we going in the boat when they say they're going in the boat they going fishing in back then in the in 1973 the country celebrated independence I can speak to issues to dates in respect of again this what we would call family island today, but is that is also affectionately known as Oat Island. Now on these Oat Island, to digress for a second, on these Oat Island, as I was saying, each one of these islands are unique. Now on Auckland's Every settlement, the people have a different slang. Yep. And I thought this is absolutely unique because you expect different dialect of the Bohemianese broken English language. Um. Chester's from of, different islands. Chester's, of, Chester's Auckland have a different language. Different slang. A different slang. Lovely Bay, a different slang. Pinefield. Pinefield, a, di a different slang. Hard Hill, a different slang. Mason Bay, a different slang. Snow Corner. Snow Corner, a different slang. Right. Spring Point, a different slang. Selena Point, different. And this to me. I go on. And this to me is what I call the United 
little kingdom of this Yahweh, Yahweh's paradise. And so I was saying before I understood it, before certain information came to me in respect to my royal, my royal historical history in respect to my family and your family. You celebrate along with me as my family. I know about walking in Auckland's in the pitch black night. Mm. If one ain't no moonlight, now it black. What year would this be? You would be talking about. Well, like I say, I born in 1963. <coughs> so, so if it's that before, in the before independence, 73. Wow. So, so when independence, I was like 63. 64. So that's 10 years. You were 10 years old at the time. Ten okay. years. Ten years old. Then that means you would have been seven years older than I was at that time. Okay? All right. Now, I'm going to come out with the number eight. The ten years that you were old, your age then, and my age, when you add the two together, that comes out to 17. 17. Okay? 17. 1 plus 7 equals 8. 8, that 8 we were told growing up in, in the Christian church on these in the Bahamas in general represents a new beginning for the Christian believer. 7 represents Yahweh's number. The, the seventh day, the Sabbath, is Sabbath that we always remember. Today is the seventh day as we speak. It okay. stopped. It stopped? I see it blinking ahead. No, it's still blinking. That's the, that, 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 as long as, as it's blinking, it, that's the time in there. So what I'm saying, back to what I was saying, seven is Yahweh's number, and in the very same Christian church, we were told six represents the number of man. Because Yahweh, according to the scripture, created man, representing male and female, on the sixth day. Now, when I put... When I then add the 6 and the 7, I get 13. But first, I'm working with the number 8. Now, let's show the, the number 8. We got that number 8 when we added your age uh, in, in, in 73, that you were in 1973, and my age, or the difference. But me and you is the same age. When you really think about it, add you, you 113 years old. Add your age and the year you born. My age and the year I born. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that. Just let me finish this point. Now, so watch this the 17. So the, I, you would have been 10 years old in 1973. Yep. Which is a difference of the seven years time. apart between my, my age and your age at the time. It was a difference of seven years. So when I add that difference of seven years and your age, I come up with 17. Now, this is the point I want, the second point I want to make with the number 17. Queen, Her Royal Majesty, Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, ruled as reigning sovereign of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas and other realms, but specifically we're speaking and fundamentally right now about her reigning over the Bahamas. From the time she was inaugurated, okay? And when the country celebrated their first year anniversary in 1973 as a sovereign state of the world she would have ruled because at that time in 73 I would have been three years old okay from the from the from 73 the time she was crowned all right it's a difference of 17 years all right 17 years she reigned before she would have been reigning for 17 years 
on when I born in 1970, pardon me. When I born in 1970, she would have been reigning for 17 years by then. When I born in 1970, she would have been reigning for 17 years. All right? All right. We just, uh, uh, this two times 17 is what? All right? Four. That's 34, yes? Okay, 34. Two times 17 is 34. We get the number 34. You add the three and the four together, you get the number seven. That's what we were talking about, the number seven. That's how come it come into play. That, which is the second seven that I use in this analogy already. All right? The first seven was the difference between, in 73 years, the age you were and the difference between I. Just Amos. leave that. Just leave that. So this is the point. I just want you to not break this point. Because yeah. people is going to listen to this. I go into my faces now. <laughs> right. That's all right. So that's fine. So that can always get um, edited out. Um, this is the point I want to make. So you don't break the concentration. You see, Her Royal Majesty then would have been reigning for 17 years when I born on the 2nd of June. 2nd of June 19, 1970 right she would have been reigning as reigning sovereign of this nation for 17 years 1 plus 7 is 8 ok 8 is a new beginning it's going to end up being a new beginning for her if this young child could if she could hear that the child is dead ok the child is not dead. And by the way, this esoteric group of world system leaders with great power and influence who I speak of, these people watched and they, they watched the misery. They watched the misery. So for the day she could, she would have heard I was dead, she would have then could rest in peace. Well, no. The child did not die, Josie. You understand me? The brother did not die. And the fact of the matter is, the history of this young man, his birth then. All right? So now, three years later, the country then be become independent, celebrating their first year. 17 plus 3 is 20. Everything that Yahweh is doing in the last days for his children is double because his children went through a spiritual trauma. My mother is 68 years of age. Here comes the six again, here comes the eight. Okay? Six plus eight is 14. I use the analogy of seven twice in the in this in this explaining and making this this point. That's the fourteen right there. Make this make the another, make the other point for the fourteen. My ex-wife, the young one of the young man she's dating, he has two children, one ten years old and one four. Ten plus four is fourteen. Okay, all right. Now let me use another analogy with the ten and give you another ten times 2, because that's the second analogy with the 14, 2 times 14 is 28, okay? Okay, the 28, 2 plus 8 is 10. The 10 goes back to 2010, representing 2010 in the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 10 was where I saw the light, that what would happen to the end, what is the end of an adulterous man? This is when this young lady recognized I was moving into the realm of spiritual, into, into a spiritual realm that she was not prepared to participate in. And so she recognized then I was heading into the direction of crossing a line. In other words, we were brought from the east to the west. And we, some of us, after 600 million of us, did not make it. The rest made it to land. And she watched in the 13 years she was married to me. From 1999 to 2012, 
she watched me venture from land, from the safety of the land, heading to the line of the sea. It's no mistake, the law in the Bahamas says, Josie, that the rights of the Bahamian people who want to do business is at the water's edge. That's where we came from, Josie, with, well, at least me, between 1998 and 2001. I was the largest jet ski operator on Paradise Island, and they did everything in their power to take that from me. Okay? I traveled from Acklands between 76 and 78. And by 80, I was going back to recognize and to see my grandmother blind seven years or so later. The point being is this. I made this tape. You know, so we, so we can face the face the, the reality to God, Yahweh. My brother get a call, so now we have to cut this tape short. Yeah, get used to the voice of the royal seed. You know, let's get used. You know, all right, and have a beautiful evening, through God, Yahweh. Amen.